Hello everyone, welcome to episode 33 of One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. I'm here again with Duros Lost Paws, uh, William Tekking, Verona Too Spooky, and Ragnar Briggs. Uh, this is a very, very exciting episode, very special episode, um, because we have managed to change the way that the things roll so there isn't two numbers anymore. There's just one to make it less confusing for everyone. Um, so yeah, so be excited for that. Be excited for that. Um, is anyone here 33? <laughs> I was, I was going to say, isn't this yes. Noble's episode? There yes, this yes. is my episode. This my is episode. Noble's episode. He is 33 years old. Um, everyone point at him and, and laugh. Okay. Okay. All right, I see. <laughs> no, he's gone! He fucks up the whole thing! And Come back, Noble! Heroes died. Well... <laughs> He was a good man. He was a loyal first mate. Verona, you're the new first mate. Oh, he's back. Okay. <laughs> I like how well we've just we've just discovered who the third mate was um, through that thing. Hey. If you guys didn't hear, oh, okay, good. I I always thought it would have gone Duras than Ragnar because Verona doesn't seem to be one for authority to be in a position of authority. But, That's why he would be a great first mate. But then uh, William has made uh, made Verona the third in command, which has made uh, Ragnar the fourth in command. There you go. Yeah, um, I think Ragnar would be charismatic enough for the position, but nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that Ragnar was like a strong contender at the start of the campaign when the characters were made, but just through his actions throughout the series, William has slowly realized that he should not put Ragnar in a position of power. <laughs> no, I mean, like, no, he is a responsible and very trustworthy ally. It's just his perception is shit, and a lot of times we need perception. <laughs> and, Make a call, yeah. yes. <laughs> That's a practical call. From William's perspective, you know? <laughs> All right. There's also times where, like, Ragnar wants to fuck shit up, and William or a first mate could be like, no, let's not do that. Okay. And I, like, if no one told me not to do something, I would just do it and kind of ruin <laughs> everything for the episode, <laughs> right? And, like, if, it's yeah. the same reason why Ragnar doesn't steer the ship. That's just an accident waiting to happen right there, you know? <laughs> it's just not because I don't trust the guy, but. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, this is what happened at the end of the last session. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you, Noble, did you listen to the thing at the, uh, at the end of the YouTube version? Uh, no. I, okay, I didn't... that's fair enough. It's not relevant. It's not relevant at the moment. I was just wondering. I made a little prediction to myself of which one of you guys would listen to it, and I was pretty much correct, except for Noble, who I had as a hard maybe, but he, he seems to be a hard no. But I was like, uh, too spooky would have listened to it. Teching next most likely then noble then briggs definitely didn't listen to i it. listened to 10 <laughs> seconds of it and then i got distracted by something i think i had to take my dog for a walk and i just never ended up finishing it for those so, who don't there, know there you <laughs> for those who don't know I, i'm adding these little bit of extra stuff at the end of each of the youtube episodes so for anyone who's watching now live on twitch this episode will also have something live at the end so when it gets uploaded on youtube you can listen to that they're just small things they don't make a lot of sense at the moment but i guess they will in time um, would you prefer us not to watch it or to watch it? It makes like, no difference like, to me. It makes no, no difference. Okay. No you can, difference. No, okay. it's, it, it'd be fine. I think, I think it'd be cool. I, I, I kind of like them. So, <laughs> okay. They're a bit like cover page stories. They're essentially a bit like cover yeah. page stories. So. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Okay. I love a good cover page story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, at the end of the last session, uh, Nanut... Uh, this kind of Egyptian looking fellow with his like white hair, the braided on one side, uh, slender figure. He uh, s he realized that the gig is up and you guys are here to take him on. He seems resigned to death as well. Like he's going to fight until he dies. He doesn't even feel like he doesn't even seem like he can win. He just wants to delay you guys or kill at least one of you. Um, and then he like these locusts come off of his arms like. You know, Shino-like, but it's just locusts. And he's surrounded by this swarm of insects and locusts in a 20-foot radius around him. Um, you guys are inside of a tavern in the cold fjords. Um, almost all of you guys are at the bar, including Pearl. Lissa and Cyril are back, and Louis a little bit back next to the, uh, the guy he unpruned. Um, and... Yes, the, the battle begins with, with William, after Nanut puts out this insect field. William, I need you to immediately make me a constitution saving throw. And I will give you such. Here we go. 
Seven. You fail your constitution saving throw. Yay! I need you to take... Well, eh, okay, I'll take it. I'll roll with the damage. You take it's 13 damage. Bad. It's not too bad. It's not too so bad. Every I could time, do a left point, but... Every eh. time you enter or start your turn within his locust field, you have to take a make a con save or you take damage. He's almost got like a, a shield of locusts. It's in my hair! <laughs> um, yes. Okay, William, what are you going to do? All right, well, I already rolled my Devil Fruit, which gave me the ability to unlock, unlock things. Unlock anything. That's, all right. Um, if I know what that okay. ability does, I'm You got the, the Devil Fruit to unlock anything? Yeah. Oh, you can unlock yeah. everyone's bracers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was actually... I was going to take a different perspective on that right away, because who else... Uh, the, the bracelets and stuff, none of us are wearing those, right? No, no, no. Only just people okay. in the tavern, and most of them are like... They seem to be almost dead. Or dead. Uh, okay. Well, um... You did say something last time that I could unlock people's potential and stuff, correct? Yes. I'm really not sure how that's going to work. Well. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say, like, because there's there's a difference between, like, someone's... This isn't Dragon Ball Z, right? <laughs> right, Where say. people have, like, energy levels and key levels. So when you unlock potential, it makes them stronger. I think a potential is more of a mindset than it is an actual physical strength because when you unlock someone's potential they don't suddenly grow muscles right 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 but they so might just basically but like for example more... yeah it would give them more resolve and inc and make it unlocks their potential more mentally than physically uh like for Can example I... if you were to unlock cyril uh or um or any of these other characters like they or louis or mm -hmm. characters that have potential to do things but something is holding it back Okay. Well, um, I'm just going to go with my original idea here. Duros is next to me. I'm going to unlock his potential. Duros. <laughs> it's also, I do want to say, it's only going to last for the duration that you have the devil fruit for. That's um, fine. That's oh. pretty much how it always works. So I get bit up by locusts and I'm like, ah, Duros, here. I unlock your true potential. My you're comrade. Like, what? You, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you like touch him on the chest and like twist your Ooh. finger around like you're unlocking something. Duros. That you you feel this like surge of um surge of like self evaluation self worth and one one extra thing your um your authority your your willpower increases um you're gonna have all advan advantage on every single saving throw for the rest of combat oh um, oh why? on top of that um you you feel you see Nanute sort of sh like twitch slightly in your presence um yeah. i will uh let you 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 have unlocked your potential to use a little bit of conqueror's hockey yeah, hell yeah oh yeah but but at captain yeah i i feel How are you something. feeling Duros? it's 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 like something like i'm holding it a fart but it wants to come out of my throat. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Aim it at that asshole. And then uh, William right. immediately flash steps like 30 feet backwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to say, whilst in the locusts, your movement speed is halved, but that's fine for William because he's a cunning action. He's going to just yeah, dash out of there. I can, I, I'm dashing out of the way. I'm landing on like a table in the background and uh, I'll be support because we're kind of in a, in a tight space yes. here. Plus, I used my devil fruit, plus I unlocked Duros. I imagine that's all of my actions for this turn. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Duris, when it is your turn, uh, you will be able to use an action to like use your Conqueror's Hockey, but it's not going to be your turn for a while because you have minus yeah. one initiative. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Negative one. Let's go. Ragnar, it is, <laughs> Ragnar, it is your turn. <clears throat> okay. So first and foremost, most, I'm going to turn into a bear. Of you, course. Well, a first and bear. foremost, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Hmm. That do is... that for me. It's gotta be higher than seven. Twelve, that might you work. also fail, so you're Damn also it. gonna take this damage. Sedge. Twenty-seven for you. Holy Whoa. shit! A William lot more. got really lucky William on that. William got, a... <laughs> got off well. <laughs> okay. Um. By the way, are we level ten or eleven? Ten. That's ten. Yeah, we're ten. Is ten. that four d tens of damage? Right. Wow. I just take it off my bear. I mean, this was the easiest shit in the world. It's yeah. literally just the spell Locust Swarm from actual D and D. So. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, got to include that in the it, next With a little bit Damn. of difference, but it's kind of the same. Um, all right, you take your damage. Sweet. I just took it off temporary hit points because I turned into a bear. You don't turn that into a bear easier. until after. I know, I'm saying, does it really matter? Well, you, you, no, yes, it does matter. 
Okay. Yeah, it does. You, you get the temporary hit points, but that's on top of you. You're still down 27 from your main hit points. I was going to take the 20 off the temporary, so it makes the, the math yeah. easier. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it unfortunately cool. does matter because there's a few niche it, it happens, edge cases. It, yeah. There are two different hit point totals. There's a few ed, uh, edge cases where but, it does matter. So there you go. You take it off your main hit points. Okay. Now you use your bonus action to turn to a bear. What do you want to do? Can now? I hop on top of the bar? Yes, of course. To give myself, to give myself advantage. Do I get advantage since I'm above him now? I don't think you would get advantage because you're above him. But okay. it looks cool. Well, I'm going to be a big bear on top of the bar. It's a big okay. bar. <laughs> um, right, go ahead and, and swing your axes. You think a barbarian scared of a few bugs? And then I swing down on top of him with my great axe. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, slams. Okay. Swung my axe so hard, rusted went black. I did. <laughs> <laughs> your, first, Jesus. Uh, your first attack hits. Uh, for a solid nine damage as you as he tries to like gracefully dodge out the way um, He's not wearing any armor, but he seems quite athletic um, mm. And you kind of graze his arm as you slice into him um, Some of the bugs seem to be getting in your eyes and making it a bit difficult to actually hit but there you go That that is your turn. It is now Nanute's turn oh. Nanute looks up at the uh, the four people that are nearby him and he sends out these like individual bugs, and he each each one of these is gonna bite each of you. So I'm gonna go left to right. So Verona, uh, you're gonna get a little a little a little bug bite, a little a little fella bite. Um, oh, no. Verona, uh, it doesn't uh, hit. I also <laughs> didn't. Oh damn! It critically fails. No, I just, can I just like karate? You just fucking up karate yeah. shot the bug out of the sky. <laughs> Uh, oh, so Verona, you just fucking karate chop the bug out the karate sky. Kid this. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he flinches. Okay, Duros. Uh, 16 doesn't hit Duros. Nice. Uh, uh, Is there something touching me right now? A piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally wearing armor, so that yes. should, yeah. Um, <laughs> does a 15 hit Ragnar? Uh, I am 15 armor class. Okay, so Ragnar, you are hit for a no. total of four damage. Oh. But wait. Now I will roll a d6. There's more. There is more. Whoa. With a two, I need Ragnar to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Damn. These are bugs are starting to get annoying. Oh. Uh, you fail the constitution saving throw, and Ragnar, you fall asleep. Shit. Oh. You, <laughs> you suddenly start feeling sleepy <laughs> and drowsy as something from the bug is, like, flowing into your veins, and you clonk down onto the table. <laughs> Asleep. I know it's cold out, but don't hibernate, please. <laughs> He's we gonna be asleep you. until someone wakes him up. Oh, interesting. And then Pearl, right. um, the last bug can is I gonna. I protect shoot. Pearl with Zawulfo. You can protect Z Pearl with Zawulfo, which means he has disadvantage on this attack, so it's do two. Oh, but oh. they both oh. crit! <laughs> what? How the what is this shit? <laughs> what? Rustage, come on, man! <laughs> How the f <laughs> it's really stupid because the crit doesn't really do. You know what I'm. Okay, it, it means that Pog doesn't. We're, we're just... <laughs> Guys, okay, at some point, we all know to go. We need to go to Vegas together because apparently we would win millions of dollars. You know? <laughs> oh my god, oh Jesus god. Christ. Yeah, Rusted, you gotta make it do something. Like, Pearl's on our side, but you gotta make it yeah, I mean, it just means. I mean, it just means that she doesn't. She automatically fails the saving throw. Yeah, no saving um, throw on no that No saving one. throw. I mean, it only does three damage, but let's roll a d6. Oh. Uh, because it's just a bug bite. So, six means that Pearl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's good. So, six means that Pearl. Suddenly, it bit, bites Pearl, and Pearl goes. It's a super bug. <sighs> She looks around. These things the are Wolfo, annoying. The Wolfo tried to like swap it out the air, but it's too tiny, and the Wolfo just can't with his big old, big old wolfy hands couldn't yeah. get it. Uh, Poe looks around, and goes, "Guys," that's... and she starts like her eyes start slowly going red. <sighs> oh, it's actually her turn next, and she looks over at Duros, Monka. and she pounces Hello. at Duros. Uh. She's gonna attack Duros. Oh, it's a, it's oh the... dear God! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, hey, what's going on? That's I'm not the enemy. She sets fire to her claw, uh, her claws, and flaming claws Duros twice. 
Uh, the first one hit. hits, the second one misses. Duros, you take 19 damage. Oh. I mean, Pearl's pretty badass, but God! <laughs> uh, Verona, it's your turn. Okay. So the thing is, Verona didn't intentionally karate chop that bug out of the air. In fact, he has a small fear of bugs. So all these locusts start flying out. <laughs> sorry, and sorry. he just immediately like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. These bugs everywhere and he sorry. In- unintentionally saves himself. Sorry, how many, like, childhood fears does Verona have? Listen, listen. <laughs> After he received all these burns, he had to hide in the forest for a while. Got a lot of bugs in his wounds. It was a bad time. He's oh, got God. a lot of... It was a bad time. So, so it's, basically, it's basically like the book Hatchet is Verona's back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, so just start swatting him as soon as they come out. He's freaking out a little bit. So my first instinct is just to move back away from the swarm. That's Noble, my first... is there a Pokemon type that is weak to both fire and bug? It's fire and bug? Probably. Uh, or, uh, never mind. Weak to bug? A psychic's weak to bug, but I, it's not weak to fire. Okay. Uh, well, that's what it, that is. That's that's Verona. Grass? All right, Verona, you're a grass type. Yeah, grass. Yeah, grass. Yeah, grass. <laughs> Verona, <laughs> Verona, you're a grass type Pokemon. It's now been decided. Maybe. It's like he he just, It's not near as big a fear as fire, but he just does not like bugs. Does not. Bug. <laughs> so, backs all the way up, and oh, you know, catches his bearings. But no, no, beforehand, you do need to make a con save before you back oh. up. Okay. When you right. start your turn in the bug back. in the bug circle. Um, right. The bug save. soup. Bonk. Oh no. Uh, which you fail. I didn't. I forgot to do it on your sheet. It seems. Um, so yeah, you uh, you take the damage. Yeah, because I was gonna say you guys were talking about some update and I didn't notice anything. So yeah, I, just, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Uh, Twenty three yeah. damage, Verona. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. All right. So yeah, I really dodged the bullet on that one. Three. Okay. I fixed your sheet. Imagine one. this guy is the one who kills us all. <laughs> Bugman? Yeah. But I am still able to back up, right? Uh, Even yes. though I failed to save. Okay, yes, so I'm yes, just going to yes. get the fuck out of there. Take a second to realize what's happening. I still have the bracelet in my hand. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask it to go jump on Ragnar and start like smacking him around to try to wake it up. <laughs> okay. Bracelet, go wake up Ragnar. The bracelet jumps down <laughs> and go and just like, no, it spins through the air. <laughs> and lands on top of Ragnar and starts hitting Ragnar with his tiny hands. It's not quite enough to, to wake up Ragnar yet, because he's a, a tiny guy. Um, uh, <laughs> Ragnar's still fast asleep, but he's just being slapped by this little guy. Um, okay. Then, outside of that, I'm just going to aim my rifle cool. up at uh, the guy and shoot no, him no. twice. Right, you have disadvantage on these shots. Okay. So select disadvantage on top of your select sheet. Uh, the and... locusts are wrapped. So you still hit him twice. Oh, oh wow, that's a good damn. one. Honestly, the... I thought those were green for a second. So Basically, he's back. covered oh, in a I swarm those were green. of green. Yeah, no. he's covered in a swarm of locusts, which makes it like difficult for you to see him and properly hit him. But you still manage mm-hmm. to get the two shots in. Do the damage. Bang bang and clickety, clackety. Ooh, twenty-four. 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 No, no, it's even funnier than twenty-four. Uh, 27? Ah, oh, damn it. 25. Damn. The, two shot, the two shots hit Nanook. <sighs> and he looks up at Verona. He's now going to take this opportunity to do his legendary action. Oh, of boy. course. Uh, oh. his, he, has he only has one. But Did he already waste one of those when he No, that's a legendary resisted. resistance. Ah. Two different things. Uh-huh. He, um, he's going to move the swarm closer to Verona. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> Hide under the tables! <laughs> what is this, a biblical plague? Jesus. Um, the, when, the, when the swarm moves, any person that it enters the swarm for the first time, um, when it moves, so it's going to move there and it's going to move back. So it's like a movement, which means that um, Duros, Pearl, Louis, and Verona all have to do a con save in this big movement. Epic. Oh, big. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, that's that's good, right? That's good. Hey, that's pretty good. Yes, you that's actually guys don't take any damage when you succeed on this one. <laughs> Start so Duros and Verona, you're just slapping the bugs. So you don't take any damage. Uh, Ragnar, what is this paper all around? Ragnar, what unfortunately, you, you automatically <laughs> fail because you're asleep. Um, so Dude. Ragnar, you're gonna take twenty three in your sleeping state. Oh my state. god, you're I'm killing Ragnar. So Ragnar's oh. just <laughs> Ragnar's Ragnar asleep. Will not be bugs are feasting on bugs. his body. Um, 
Pearl also has to do the saving throw, even though she's under the influence. Um, she's oh. going to succeed and not take any damage. And then finally, Louis Le Clock also has to do a constitution save, uh, which he fails. And so he also takes the 23 damage. Um, so Ragnar's asleep and Pearl is high right now is basically where I'm getting yeah. the best <laughs> Not doing too good. Oh, yeah, and um, hold up. Thorn, the, the ginger... Uh, fucking guy that you saved. He also has to do one. Uh, he succeeds. Holy shit! Oh, shit. Hey. Holy oh, moly! Him. Holy go, moly! Random dude, dude, I don't know. This guy is just a dude, so he has five HP. So he would have just died <laughs> immediately <laughs> if it hit him. <laughs> but he just also manages to succeed. Um, right, Verona. I assume that's the end of your turn. It yeah, is now Lissa's turn. Lissa yells over to Verona. Uh, Verona. Ah, uh, what the fuck do I do against this bug boy? You got any insect repellent? <coughs> insect repellent? Uh, hold up. Um, That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> she gets out her, her her little like bullet stash. She's like, I probably won't be able to hit him. Uh, but uh, take these, and she throws over some red bullets towards you. Uh, incendiary rounds. Ooh, that'll do it. Just light the whole bar on fire. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. Shake slightly. <laughs> in realization nice. of what these are. Uh, Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Cyril's, um, Cyril's cowering. I don't like bugs. I also coincidentally have a fear of bugs, as but I also have a fear of many things. So it's not just, it's not just bugs I'm scared of. I'm scared. I'm scared of conflicts. I'm scared of bugs. I'm scared of um. I'm scared of taverns and underage <laughs> drinking. Uh, oh God. Even though I'm above age. Wait, what is the legal? <laughs> what is the legal drink? I, I don't in, think there is a legal age. In, in one case, <laughs> he's, he's legal age in England, but not legal age in America. So I don't know what yeah. what rule teching what rules. Well, what's, what's the, the what's the drinking wait, wait. age in the One Piece universe? Oh, it's twenty. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I'm no, below. I, I just made that up. No. Okay. When Luffy did say uh, when Luffy was seventeen and nineteen, he said he was too young. So I just assume it's twenty, I guess, because Zoro drinks. So there you go. Oh, fair enough. They're pirates, though, so even if they were drinking, like, you wouldn't, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. pirates, damn it. Are you gonna arrest me? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> we're pirates, yeah. Cyril. You gotta get used to these things. Okay. Yeah. Cyril peeks over, and he's gonna fire his, like, aqua bullet, but he does get disadvantage on it because it is a ranged attack into the, uh, into the swarm. Um, so we aqua bullet. Awesome. Um... That uh, looks like it hits. Well, looks it, like it's, it? it's disadvantage, so eight. Uh, Unfortunately, eight doesn't hit. He just sort of f f fires off a burst of water, and it just got gets dissipated in within all the bugs. It just kind of becomes a puddle on the ground. Um, well, shit. Right. Duros, do a con saving throw, but you have advantage. Duros, it's oh. your time to shine, finally. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had advantage on the con. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, right. Yes, critically yeah! succeed. Uh, um, oh, yes. So you don't take any damage. Now Nanut is standing there. You can attack him if you want to, or you can you can use your conqueror. I pocket. shall use and summon this innermost thing inside of me. Stand down, you locust swarm! So what's fun this is he's no already more. used his legendary resistance against uh, William, <laughs> so he doesn't have one anymore. So it really is he will either fail or succeed this. So he He's has to do- He's wasted his resistance on my beguiling charm. He, he essentially- Duros, wreck him! He has to do a wisdom saving throw against Duros's DC, uh, which I, is, I'm gonna tie it to his strength because it's his force of character or his charisma. Oh, fuck. Um, well, 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 we, we'll tie it to his strength because it makes it a bit better for him. Um, so he has, so this guy's got to get higher than a 17 to succeed. Lower than a 17, and we will see what happens. He fails. He rolls a 12. So, Duros, you are using Conqueror's Haki for the first time. You stare yeah. down at Nanut. What did you say again? You, I, I don't know how to say <laughs> This is like, I'm on the spot now with Conqueror's Haki. It's like, stand down, vile fiend. You will hurt this poor village no longer. The uh, Nanut starts to feel a bit woozy a bit um, uh, out of his mind. He goes, oh. And he clonks down to the ground. Unconscious for a round. He is. Um, 
which means that uh, well, he's just he is currently unconscious. Battle's not quite over yet because he will regain consciousness at some point, but he is unconscious, which means he foregoes his next action, and the insects do disappear. Which means you guys all get essentially a free round against him as he's lying on the ground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <that'd be> fun. <laughs> um, Am I still asleep? I do want to state Pearl is still under the influence of the bug because that's a status thing um, that is just continuing to that will continue to happen until Nanute dies. Um, but uh, yes, uh, and, oh, or until a t- has a time limit as well. But he, she is still under the influence. Pearl and Ragnar, you are also still asleep. Um, but <laughs> just fast asleep. Um, <laughs> Durus, successful turn. It is now Louis oh. Leclerc's turn. Louis Leclerc looks over to Ragnar and goes... I was going to say, go heal him. We oui, oui. Go wake him up. Yeah. Oh, wake her up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say wake up in French. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, do we have to use... Well, he took a lot of damage. Let's use the time rewind power, so too. So the time rewind rewinds uh, Ragnar's sleepiness and wakes him back up again. Ragnar, you are awake. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what happened to me, guys? Um, what happened is we're about to beat this guy's unconscious <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> you let the bed bugs bite. I just woke up and he's asleep. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Duros is like trying to tackle Pearl. Oh god! <laughs> just trying to keep him on. Pearl, what's wrong with you? <laughs> How much damage do I gain? You no no no. You're not getting life back. He's using his. He he can. He rewinds a specific event. Either that's the damage you've taken or a status effect you've had. Okay. Right. It's not just everything that's ever happened to you. Um, okay. That's how I'm rolling it. Um, just, I thought it was like one round worth, but okay, yeah. one, one, it's just one, one type, either one status type of or thing. damage. Yeah, yeah. So he, you'll wake up, you still have damage. Um, yeah. But everyone has advantage on this guy because he's unconscious. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he, he instantly fails any saving throws, if that's relevant. Uh, William, it is your turn. All right, so upon him getting knocked out, I am going to draw my sword, the true eight of spades. I'm going to shuffle immediately to the other side of the bar and I'm going to stab him. You have advantage on the attack, including, that includes sneak attack damage. Okay. So, and roll with advantage. Here we, here we go. 17, you hit him. Okay. Uh, and you make sure you have your sneak attack damage uh, ticked. Yeah, I do, yep. There we go, so 24 damage. Card oh. cut! <laughs> you, you, can't, you slice card down, cutter. and I swear everyone could kind of see like these, like a like a, a deck of cards almost like fluttering down, uh, following the trail of William. I'm actually blades. doing that. It's yes. in my sleeve. They're, and they're in actually the... falling out after I cut him. Yes. Uh, William has like strapped a deck of cards to the sword, so it just flutters cards everywhere yes. nonchalantly as he flails it around. They're like uh, dancing in the air, like flower petals. <laughs> well, yeah, he takes that 24 damage. Uh, Ragnar. No, bonus action as well. My last action, I'm gonna once again zip back to where I was. <laughs> uh, Wait, just he doesn't moment. wake up after getting striked by. He's unconscious, not asleep. Okay. Yeah, he's unconscious. I'm not unconscious. Out. Um, uh, William, am... you, William, you use your bonus action to go next to Nanut because he's he's further than 30 oh. feet away from you. You had to dash okay, to get fine. to him. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm, cool. I'm okay. behind the bar then. That's Ragnar. Well, uh, um. I don't know what's going on, but it feels a little weird doing this, but fuck this guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just fuck this guy. Ragnar takes a step down from the bar. <laughs> no longer a uh, barbarian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was a good one. Oh, and the Bro, best joke of oh, One Piece Dungeons and Ragnar. Dragons goes to I Ragnar. Congratulations. Over the body of this dude as we're just raining oh, blows down on him. Woo! Oh my god. <sighs> well, that, um, that wasn't that... the best joke I've ever made. Let me just and I think we smack this guy in the head. Episode. Barbarian's the name of the episode? Sweet. Mm. Barbarian. <laughs> uh, you hit him. You hit him twice. Damn straight oh, he does. I, I kind of feel bad for this guy. Don't be, he's a dick. Wait, oh, what the fuck? Wait, did you go Big Bear? Yeah, I said I went Big Bear. Oh my god. It was god. a big mistake. It was a big mistake, but... It was a big... Wait, wait when did you go Big Bear? At the very beginning of the... When I went did, into did... bear form, I said Big Bear specifically. Oh, okay, And then I okay. realized I only had one Big Bear. I'm like, fuck, I should have saved it. Well, fair enough. So you were but a sleeping Big Bear the whole time. Yeah. 
Yeah, a sleepy well, big bear. A sleepy big bear. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, you fucking carve into this man. That's a lot of damage. Uh, uh, I can't do maths. How Excuse about? my the fact. Twenty six damage as you carve into the newt's unconscious body. Um. He's getting, he's getting weaker. It is his turn, but he forgoes his round because he is unconscious. It is Pearl's turn, but Pearl is still under the influence of um, the insect and is just attacking the nearest target to her, which is still Duros. So, oh boy. Pearl's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bother. No. I can almost picture Duros as like Woody the Pooh. Um, <laughs> she's going to put her hands together and she goes... Dragon spinner! <laughs> Dragon oh, no. spins and misses Duros. <laughs> you you kind of he, she spins on your armor. Does you, she you, drill you, into the wall behind him or something? <laughs> well just bash just drills into the shield and just is reflected. Mm. Um Verona, your move. There's no insects in the way anymore. So you got a clean shot. <laughs> well you don't jump over the bar, let's go. Yeah, no, he actually has the table. Yeah. Oh he just jumps <laughs> up on the bar just, like <laughs> just looking right over him. So, is my bracelet still animated? By uh, the way? Yeah, it's just on the t counter's top now, though. Hey, bracelet. Crawl down that man's throat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. What? The oh, bracelet what? Uh, attaches itself to Nanute's throat. Okay. Then I'm just gonna point straight down at his forehead. Sleep tight. Don't let the <laughs> bed bugs bite. And oh, just fuck. bang, bang. So many good ones. You hit him twice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Killing it unconscious. Man. We are, we are brutally murdering this man. And I laughing. hate bugs, well, Duros. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's you, an asshole. What do you? Yeah. Uh, the bracelet attaches itself. What do you? Do you give it another command? Zap. Well, it doesn't zap, but it, it sucks. Okay. Give him the suck. <laughs> give him the suck. Give you him the good you suck. You start seeing oh, the newt's body start to shrivel up slowly. As the bracelet is sucking something out of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for me. Next up. Dude, should we not like... <laughs> Guys, should we like be killing this guy? Or like <laughs> asking what the fuck is going on? He's unconscious, Ragnar. That time is past. That time is past. Hey, we can't... You know sure. something's he messed up with Ragnar's him. the one questioning our moral. <laughs> he will regain his consciousness when it's his next turn. But I don't know if he's going to get there. It's not a morality thing. I just don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah, Ragnar fell asleep and he woke up and the guy was already unconscious. Screw this guy. He sent bugs after us. Bugs, for God's sakes. <laughs> evil Duros wasn't that evil. I mean, come on. Well, why are we even here? Why is he just doing this? this? <laughs> just... Cyril's looking around like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell is going on? Who is this guy? Uh, Liss is gonna stand oh. up upon the table and is is gonna try and like fire a shot from a distance that she would get disadvantage on, but she gets advantage, so she, it's just a regular shot. Just a regular shot for Lissa. I don't actually have her as part of your crew on the character sheet section. I need to do that. Uh, she is a part of us. Twenty-three. Oh, uh, that's a that's a <laughs> fires off the gun. It's got a little spark around it. Hits the newt. Uh, it kind of like curves down into him and just, I mean, it irritates him, his body. This is not that strong as a fighter. Uh, it is now Cyril's turn. Cyril can't actually really see what's happening behind the desk. And she goes, he goes, whoa, 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 what's going on? Murdering we, this guy. Up. You want in? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um... It'll he, stop the bugs, I guess. He's also going to stand up off the table and kind of like fling an aqua thing in, but he does get advantage, unlike Lissa. Um, so, Cyril, Cyril, Cyril. Um, wow. Amazing. <laughs> he misses. He just misses. Even with advantage, he misses. I don't know. I don't fucking know how, but he, he just... One of these days, man. One of these days. He'll get it. He'll get it. Duras, it is your turn now. All right. Well, I'm going to just shimmy over to the top of the bar just a little bit by keeping Pearl, you know, at bay a little bit. I put like one hand over. I'll get my sword on the other hand, just like keeping her at bay. 
<laughs> All right, I'm just going to stab the crap out of this man right now. <laughs> Give me a second. Right? Okay. <laughs> Start stabbing him. You have an advantage on the attack. I can't see it. Like, it's like me and Ragnar behind the bar, and then just Wait, do I have and Durst on top of the, the bar. bar. Just... You have advantage, you have advantage. Oh, okay, okay. So you and I advantage. will use my blessed sword benevolence. Mm -hmm. Have at it. Uh, you hit him twice. Yeah. Oh, nice. uh, oh. For a total of, you, yeah, do it again. 19 damage and you 19. you regain five hit points as well. Five hit points, oh goody. <laughs> Slicing into him, he looks wounded and weak, almost dead, almost dead. How is not dead yet? Oh my oh, God. Oh, so close to being dead, dude. He's very close. Louis Leclerc then jumps up on the desk and looks down at him and he he, he spots something um on on the newt's clothes that are upon close expect, inspection something that a newt is wearing around his neck and he he's he take he's a little taken aback at first and then he points Napo he stabs him with napoleon uh his, louis leclerc's new sword everyone napoleon yeah. napoleon that he got from future louis um Oh, he has no way. He has advantage. Everyone has Big advantage. Mom might have he, hits. Right <laughs> he hits, dealing 20 damage, <laughs> sticking it into uh, Nanute, and then the, the sword goes into his chest, and then he clicks something, and bullets fire off from the edge of the sword. So it's like a bullet gun. Like a gun blade. A gun blade! A gun blade! Um, Final Fantasy VIII, man! And the, um, the bullets firing off of this uh, kill Nanute. <sighs> so, look, hey, is this the first kill for Louis Leclerc? Yes. Oh, it might be. Yeah. It might be. Um, Good job, Louis. Yeah. Oui, oui. I mean, Louis, Louis, future Louis died, so, you know. It's like, <laughs> yeah, Louis died before he before got a kill. Before he got his first kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, okay. Good good fucking combo move with William and Duras there. Freaking uh, yeah. sheath my sword. I'm like, God, man, what was up with that guy? Uh, Louis jumps down and looks closer at the body and uh, grabs the necklace that's around Nanute's uh, neck and it, it's like a it's like a little symbol it looks kind of like an A but with like an infinity symbol through it Okay. Um, and Louis Leclerc looks up at William and goes uh, Captain he, uh, yeah. um, uh, I, you should take a look at this and he hands it over to you he goes I oh, is is this another assassination group? No. They, like, the, the <laughs> no, it's not, it's not another. <laughs> also, I imagine Duros is like grappling Pearl right now, trying to oh, yeah. restrain her. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Pearl's effects wear off the moment a newt dies. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Good. Yeah. Pearl, I gotta say, you kicked ass, but be What's careful happened? next time. You know. <sighs> I see like a little blood going down Duros's cheek a little bit. Oh, nothing, Pearl. You just slapped me a little bit. Nothing. Yeah. Duros, I'm so sorry. Well, no, that's going fine. on. Louis Leclerc goes. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck, William. <laughs> Did something... William's dead. William's dead. <laughs> he fell over. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, I'm just hello. grabbing something. This is the Millennium Puzzle, but I'm just grabbing something for a <laughs> visual effect. Okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, Louis Leclerc goes, I don't know what this is, but um, when I first confronted my brother, and it is, uh, he also had something like this around his neck. Um, the Timber Lord, huh? The Timber Lord. We... Do you still have the one you got from him? No, I didn't take it personally. Oh, I okay. mean, it should probably be buried, like, with his right. body on the arbor. Okay. So what does that mean, then? Does that mean, like, this is something worn by, like, warlords, or what's up with that? Your guess is as good as mine, but I don't think it has anything to do with the warlords. Hmm. He, he would always uh, clutch it and pray to it. It was part of his... Uh, Religious fanatic fanaticism. Oh wait a second! Sorry. I am creepy locust, playing. creepy <laughs> locust guy. Oh no! <laughs> hmm. What do you guys think? I toss it to Verona. What do you think, Verona? <laughs> I'm not looking forward. If there's more of these people, this is some biblical stuff, Captain. Oh God. Well, we've already killed God. So. <laughs> well, it was I mean, just me. God is right here. <laughs> that's, I'm not God. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> in a different in a different timeline, you called yourself God, so we could say that. But I mean, like, look, um, 
if this is some kind of creepy... Cyril, can you stop shaking from behind a table and come over? A group meeting, everybody. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone <laughs> gathers around the body. I don't know if, like, the actual... Because um, this the... is just an interpretation, but there's, like, cinnamon buns on the counter. I'm going to grab that and just give everybody a cinnamon bun. Yeah, there's there you go. <laughs> various different foods and stuff. I mean, the, the ginger man walks over and goes... I don't know what the co is going on. <laughs> I forgot what his accent was, but <laughs> I actually forget to. <laughs> I, I think I was trying to go for some sort of Scandinavian, but you know me in accents can't do any of them. I did, I did, I did. That's just Irish. Anyway, there you go. That works. <laughs> well, who are you lot? Oh, fuck it, he's Scottish. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? We're the Devil's Luck Pirates, sir. I'm Captain. You lot are pirates. Is... Yeah. We oh, dabble. That's fine with me. I've been friends oh. with plenty of pirates in my time. Uh. Well, I, I I hope it is because you know otherwise you'll end up like this idiot oh, right yeah, here. I, so, yeah. I don't want to end up like that idiot. Oh no. So uh, what's the deal? Was he always the bartender here, and did he always sick locusts on people, or is that like a new thing? Uh, that I mean, this is kind of a new development for me. <laughs> I mm. he was just a really nice bartender. Uh, and now he looks over at all the bodies. Now my friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could have done something to help them, but uh, we just kind of... Did you have didn't. that unlocking thing? Um, oh, well. Uh... Uh, <laughs> it, it, the power mysteriously vanished. Yeah, sorry oh. about that one, pal. <laughs> uh, well, at least they didn't get everyone. I imagine just the people in this bar. And I he, hope so. He, like, opens the door. And as he opens the door and looks outside, the the, the streets are just... You can just see through the door, there's, the streets are just littered with dead bodies. <laughs> oh, fuck. William oh. just takes the door and just... What you also <laughs> notice, though, as you open the door, is yeah. in the distance, you notice something in the sky. Verona? Just like a shape. Don't you have What's some up? kind of magnification device, binoculars? What do you What do you have? He has a telescope in it. <laughs> you have a telescope, that works, that counts. That's a thing. Z <laughs> All right, should I use perception or can I just see what it is? Do a perception. Just give it all a right. better look. That's decent. Womp. It's all right. So you, you look through your little telescope. You're looking up at this thing. Um, and as you magnify on it and take a closer look, it looks like some sort of flying airship of some kind. Like a For you guys, it's a Zeppelin, a blimp. Right, okay. But I don't know if your characters would know what that was. So it looks like another spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that's that, honestly, oh. yeah, because there's no flying machines. But it's machines basically in a so, giant yeah. like. Where are we looking, guys? Did they, they, they like... follow us from Duros? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell is that thing? Oh, Luna, Luna. <laughs> oh, maybe she came back. Maybe she missed you. Oh, that's gonna be adorable. Do you oh, recognize that handiwork? Listen, oh, there. From your grandfather. That don't look like no spaceship to me. T let me take a look. And that looks like a balloon. Yeah, it seems to be powered by some sort of hot air. It doesn't oh. seem to be any sort of thrusters or um, things on so it. Trevor must be on board if it's powered by hot air. An oh, unidentified air. I was thinking aircraft. maybe you could power our ship, Captain. You'd be really good with that. <laughs> it seems to be uh, approaching this direction, though. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. No, it's not even mad. It's <laughs> well, if it's coming this way, there's a chance it's not friendly, so maybe we should uh, patch ourselves up on the on the down low I, real quick. I hope it's not friendly. Let's steal that thing. <laughs> yes, I was going to yes, suggest yes. you shoot I like it. the way you think. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. Fly around. Oh, you, you want me to shoot it, Captain? No. I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want an incident Probably like not. last time. Last time no. I shot no. some sort of ship, things did not work out well. No. Yeah, Going that's for true. Everyone involved. That's true. Um, On I the bright side, what? boys. Free ale! Free ale! <laughs> Clap you, you, the ale! As you're saying Greg. that, Ragnar, when you said free ale, Pearl was already starting to, like, put a bunch of ale in a big bag. And she, <laughs> she looks around and she's like, it's all mine, it's all mine. <laughs> um, uh, Rustridge, what's the name of the uh, the guy, the dude? Nanut? N no, 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 the, the, the dude that's guy. our ally. Yeah, oh, that's... you're going to ask him? I wanted to ask, oh, okay. Hey, you, uh, guy, what's your name? Yeah, oh, it's Thorm. Thor. That's cool. All right. Uh, do you recognize that giant spaceship looking thing in the sky? C could you just ask me that question again and uh, 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 and listen to yourself next time? 
Can of course, I don't fucking recognize the giant fucking spaceship looking thing in I the sky. I grab him and shake him. I don't know your life, man. <laughs> <laughs> we just met 10 minutes ago. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit emotional. Uh, it seems okay. like everyone I've ever known or loved my entire life has died. Uh, That's probably true. I'll, I'll welcome to the club. Let, I kind of let him go and pat him on the shoulder. Like, and yeah, I, okay, that, that is and true. I, well, sorry, I would have died too if it wasn't for your lot. I kind of wish I have. Would have now. Oh no, there's plenty of things you can do with your life. Whoa! <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, all right, like, all right, hey, all right. I'm all uh, about granting about, wishes. How about this shit? How about we take the ale, we get the hell out of here, and we hide somewhere and see where this thing touches down from a distance, mm -hmm. and we make a plan there. How about we do that? Should we head back to the ship then, Captain? Uh, is the direction of this thing heading in the same direction as the ship? Like, if What's, we... Are you asking uh, like, Lissa or Verona? Uh, Verona. <laughs> I think, <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it's coming from that way to this way, and the ship is right behind us. I'm gonna say, yeah, that's about so, accurate. Yes, it's on its way here right now. All right, but I was gonna say we. I was gonna say we jump out and hide a little bit outside of town, like in the woods or something. So oh, that also might watch. be a good a good idea. Yeah, because uh, if like if they see the spread. ship, they'll probably be the first <gasps> place they go. But what? we should go. We should go get Healy. And yes, that would be useful to Healy. have. We can right. go to the ship and get Healy. And, All right, let's yeah. grab Healy really quick, and then let's like hightail right. it into like the woods or like a hillside or something. We can watch what's going on from a distance. Come on, guys! It'll be an adventure. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, right. you guys head back to the uh, to the ship. Uh, oh, before I go, yes. I, my friend, I, I'm talking to Thor. Uh, Thor. 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 Yeah. Thor. Okay, you should probably gather all the survivors in town and evacuate right now. I don't think that thing is friendly. Or if there are any survivors. Yes, any survivors? I would do my best to look to see if there's any. Thanks right. for taking care of that guy. Um, I'm sure... Uh, I think the only people left alive on this island are all the, uh, the non-alcoholics, which there aren't many on this island, but... Oh, God. Well, don't worry. There's a lot of really good booze. We'll, make it, we'll put it to good use. Don't worry. I mean... Don't worry. We'll take care of this vile booze. None of you will suffer again. <laughs> this will be... <laughs> and this, this is a PSA. Don't drink, kids. <laughs> Or else she, don't drink. <laughs> don't drink, kids, or else you get sucked by an evil Egyptian man. Yes. With, with yes. locusts. With... If you drink, you pop open their fifth bottle of booze for the night, a locust swarm will just, like, devour your home. All right. It happened to my cousin. <laughs> you have a cousin, Verona? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Verona, are you taking the bracelet with you? Uh, or are you leaving? Yeah, why okay, not? Sure. I'll, I'll, yeah. Louis is going to take the, uh, the amulet with him as well. All right, so he has the amulet. All yeah. right, let's go get uh, Gravy and Healy from the ship then. Okay. okay. You guys head back to the ship. Um, uh, you, As you rush back to the ship, you do notice that the uh, the uh, blimp is getting closer and closer. Um, but it Gravy, doesn't... we got to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Bring I, the robot. Um, yeah, he, he's just over here. Hello, do you need uh, healing? Ragnar. <laughs> It's just Ragnar every Ragnar, time. Ragnar, do you need some healing from... Oh, I, I think he's he... down 14 HP. <laughs> Healy, Healy, 14 uh... exactly. Healy, I could use some healing. Uh, what was that, Ragnar? What did you say? A lot say? more than 14 HP this time. Please, can you heal me? Uh, could you say that one more time for me? <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Helios's emo hair, and it's just, yeah. Heli, please heal me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since you are so nicely, Ragnar, I will oblige. Um, and he sticks a needle in you. Um, uh, you guys will have enough time to take, like, a short rest. So if okay. you want to heal right. health equal to dice rolls and stuff, you can do that. All right. Um, okay. uh, how do you do the dice roll thing? Uh, you roll your hit dice, right? Yeah, it's just d10s. You can roll d up to ten d10s plus your um, constitution. Um, I have a d8, but yeah. Ragnar has a d12s. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, I just rolled a lot of d10s. Jesus Christ! You don't have to roll all ten, but you don't. You, you can just that. roll as many yeah. as you need. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Like I only have. You have a limit to these. Like I don't understand. You, you have up to your level limit a day. A day, rest. okay. So uh, you have up to t so you can roll five now, but then if you take a short rest later, you could only roll f up to five. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll leave it up to you guys to roll them. Um, Ragnar, you also get eighteen hit points from Healy. 
Um, okay. Uh, so I, got I rolled there. three. I get exactly the amount of hit points back to get to my maximum. <laughs> Perfect. I'll roll one more d10. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and it, and it's plus your constitution as well. Um, All right, I'm just gonna settle there. I'm only a couple HP Wait. down. Yeah. Rolled three times. Uh, Lula Clock's gonna roll two. Wow! Hours. Wow, oh, Duros, you're so really? unlucky. Oh, Duros, why? All right. Lula Clock's one back more. up. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> okay all, all right, right, down four. All right, whatever. Uh, that's better. You guys. I just want to make sure Duros is max HP. He needs it the most. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you guys all are resting up with the ship, but this takes about half an hour to do. You know, you're okay. eating, gravy's prepared some food, you're resting, that sort of thing. Um, and you see the 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 blimp it get closer, but it, it it's slightly away from the island. Um, it doesn't seem like it's noticed you guys or cares about the island at all. But you, what you do notice, and I guess Verona would notice as he's watching the ship, is a body fall from the blimp and crash in the water. <laughs> Not quite next to you guys, but nearby enough that you'd be able to, uh, and near the shore as well. I think somebody just got yeeted off that thing. Oh, okay, who, we should go who, check it out. <laughs> who can swim? Duros, you can swim and you're an expert fisherman. Fish him out. Duros cannot swim in his armor. He'd have to uh, unarm him. Yes, I can, I, well, I, I can try to fish, I guess. <laughs> I'm a fisherman. You gotta fish him out? I'll fish him out. Okay, sure. let's do it. <laughs> let's just do it. Fuck it. Um, could, fuck you, it. could you roll? I, fuck, what even? What is a fish fisherman, roll? Fisherman tools, You have right? fisherman tools, right? I am proficient in fisherman tools. Can yeah. you yes. use your fisherman? Do you have that on your sheet? Yes, it's right there. You literally do. Tool. All right, do your, use your fisherman Wait, tools. I think we did it when we got all those hats in like episode two. Um, uh, but you're apparently still oh, rolling that's with advantage. advantage. Sorry, 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 sorry. It'd be yeah, a 16. It'd be a 16. That's still good 16. enough. That's still good enough. You fish okay. and you hit the back of his... Um, like clothing, and you reel it in. It's a bit, yeah. it's a person, so it's heavy. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> um, and um, as you reel it in, and then you, you're you holding this body up, and you like fling it onto the deck. And um, you see his like navy jacket all washed out and splayed. He's covered in blood that just to match his kind of red clothing underneath his hat. He's not wearing a hat anymore. Um, his his ponytails all dis uh, disheveled and all over the place, and Trevor, he looks he looks unconscious, and you immediately recognize it as Trevor. <gasps> oh God! Get out of the way! <laughs> it's my beloved brother. <laughs> oh God, he's really fucked he, up. He he is um not quite fully unconscious, um because he's groaning, and uh, I kneel down uh, and kind of slap him in the face like Trevor. Hey. I might have. I might slap him a little bit harder than is necessary. Like Trevor, <laughs> ah, come with me, man. Ah. And he he opens his eyes and he goes, "Am I in hell?" Oh, <laughs> no, looks, you're on our pirate ship. Oh. <laughs> and he looks so. He looks at everyone and he, he goes, "This must be hell." What did I do? I th thought I was upholding justice my entire life. But if I'm here with you guys, I definitely must be in hell. No. No. Hi, I'm Ragnar. I'm a bear. I know who you are, Ragnar. <coughs> it's good to meet you again, Trevor. He goes to sh it looks like he's about to shake his hand, but he goes to his jacket and pulls out a fish that was stuck yeah. in there. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice. We got dinner. Toss that over to Gravy. <laughs> I have my gun pointed at him just because I don't trust him. Oh, of course. Of oh, course. that Trevor. Trevor. I just didn't recognize him all wet. I kind of, I kind of prop Trevor up on like the side of the ship, and I'm like, I look right at him, I'm like Trevor, Trevor, my brother. Check out what I did to your sword. You are incorrigible. Isn't it awesome? I de we defeated this like a flame guy, and I added it to the guard, and I got this devil fruit to fuse it with a cutlass, and now it looks badass. William, I can't believe I'm related to you. <laughs> I can't either. The sentiment is mutual. <laughs> All right, Healy probably should heal him up. Don't you think we should ask him what the hell happened first? Well, yes, before we do something. <sighs> I still can feel the wound on my chest from last time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. William is kind of conflicted. All right, well, what's up with the flying machine? Do the Marines have flying machines now? That's something we need to know. 
<laughs> oh, just my l fucking luck. Worst day of my life. <sighs> I c couldn't think it would get any worse, but I just happened to wind up here with you lot. I think it was pretty lucky. I did fish you out of the sea. You could have died in there. That is true, yeah. I think yeah. I would have rather died. That can still be arranged. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it could be. <laughs> he, he if, looks if it up. wasn't for some weird tenuous connection that I have with you, uh, maybe I might have killed you already. We've already murdered somebody today. Uh, um, you want to wear of a Jefferson's Blimp? Jefferson's Zeppelin has a better ring to it. I get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson Zeppelin. Okay. And he points hey, up at hey, it. Hey, William, how, how, how would you feel about being like Sky Pirates? That's, <laughs> like, I think it's it'd not, be pretty cool. It's not as cool as Space Pirates, but... I know, the, we, but we already the, did that. We it already is did a close Space second. Pirates. It is a close second, though. Hmm. Can we be Land Pirates next? <laughs> Travel all of I think that's called bandits. <laughs> Lissa, oh. Lissa, could you add that's not wheels? Cool. Could you add wheels to the? Uh... Oh, Trevor, calm down. Blood dripping down from his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to you in a second. Lissa, can you add like tires to our boat? <laughs> tires? What the hell do you want tires for? Did Land we... pirates? Were you not listening? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just a little bit confused by this seaman that you just got from the ocean. Oh. Uh, That's his brother. Oh, how That's cool brother. would it be if we attach that flying thing to our boat and our boat has wheels so we could go Take anywhere. me fucking seriously, <laughs> says Trevor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Joe, fuck. Oh, my. I'm dying here and you guys are talking about fucking land pirates? What's going on? <sighs> Sorry. I missed you too, buddy. Oh. I, grab, I grab Healy and I just have him stab the syringe in the side of his neck. Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he regains a little bit of life. He goes yeah. to grab for his sword, but he, he doesn't have it on him. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Does he have any weapon no, on him? No, no weapons right now? on okay. him. Okay. All right. All right. So I guess, okay. Fuck. Shit. Uh, what were you reaching uh, for? He like hands him a fish. Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, look, he looks at you a lot and he, uh, he smiles slightly. <laughs> no, this is... This is good, actually. This is good. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Fuck. William. Usually nope. when you say something's good, you don't say fuck a bunch of times. <laughs> I'm in <laughs> pain here, <laughs> Duros. It's not what I heard in your room, Duros. This is, I'm in pain. Wait. Uh, <laughs> oh. Call Wait back. A Wait a minute here. I'm just saying. I'm just, just going to eat my fish then. <laughs> just, gonna... just quietly eating his fish. All right, Trevor, look, I know you and I haven't seen eye to eye before, but listen, some weird stuff's going on in this island, all right? We just got attacked by a guy that controlled bugs. There might be some weird cult going on here, and now there's this weird Z Zeppelin, did you call it? So, and now you show up out of nowhere. So, is all this connected? Like, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about with bugs and shit. Uh, I just know that, um, I've... <laughs> I've... Well, I've been betrayed. Who? Hmm. I can't say for sure, either by Jefferson or by the Marine Organization in general. <laughs> uh, he started um trying to... In Me and Jefferson have worked together for a while. Um, you might be... Uh, you might know of him, Rear Admiral Jefferson. He's about to get a promotion soon to Vice Admiral, but at the moment he's still a Rear Admiral. Um, he's... Be um. Roll like history to see if we would know who that is. Um, or we would not know I how mean, that is. Okay, yeah. William, I will let you roll a history check. Okay. Just if I maybe heard of him off the cuff. Because you have something. heard of him. Guess Fuck. not. Can anyone, nope, guess everyone, not. Just literally everyone roll a history check because you guys have heard the name Jefferson before. Okay, Verona. Hey. Remember the old man, Cranston, back back in like episode oh, two. Oh, Ragnar got it. Yeah, yeah. In it, The old man, he had two sons, Marrow. And Jefferson. God damn. Oh, I killed that dude's uh, dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you killed that dude's dad. And he's oh. he's very pissed about that for one thing. But yeah, uh, you guys kind of vanished off the face of the earth for a little bit. 
I'm telling you, yeah, I mean, we tried to track you down, but we couldn't. We went into space. Okay. <laughs> Whatever we actually said. did. We did go into space. I, yeah. I lay the dirt, the dirt jar in front of him. I got dirt from space. Lisa, go, Lisa goes, hello, I'm an alien. You're William's brother. I like William. <laughs> <laughs> She's an alien. Yeah. Doesn't look like an alien to me. She just sounds well, funny. Your descendants from like us, but long story. Okay, right. I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> what are you gonna Different say? Different timeline. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna. Doris would not say that. He would not say that. <laughs> Zeppelin is not Jefferson's last name. <laughs> Zeppelin is the name. It's it. It is a Zeppelin. It's Jefferson Zeppelin. His name is it Jefferson Zeppelin. That is so funny. Okay. Um, anyway, what were you going to say, Doris? Nothing. No, no, Doris did not say anything in this situation. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Get away, Trevor. Wait till you hear what Duros did on that <laughs> No, No. I, 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 I killed myself, technically. Yes, that's what you're referring to. Yeah, right? yeah, no, yeah. We I mean, did do that, yeah. too. Yeah, that is a yeah. weird thing. Yeah. Something about his only brother dying made Jefferson go a little bit cuckoo. Um, oh. Hey, uh, Duros is the one that did that. Wait, who killed Marrow? Which one killed him again? I feel like that was Duros. No, I think right. it was me. I think it, it was, was right. It was Ragnar. Duros, Duros blocked the bone yeah. attack, and it was Ragnar that actually clawed him to death. Okay. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, I, I can't keep my temper. You. You guys really stress me out. You know that. I. I don't. Okay. All right. Um. God. Fuck. Fuck. I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. He, he looks down at myself. But I, I don't know what other choice do I have. Um, I don't... Jefferson... We, we've been working together for quite some time, and I think he trusted me. He tried to, like... Introduce me to something. Some sort of... Uh, some sort of... Cult. For lack of okay. a better word. Now things are starting to kind of line up here. Hold I on think a we second. Yeah. So you worked directly with Captain Marrow's brother. Of course I did. And you would say that you two have had quite the relationship. Yes. Him and so then what do you know about Captain Viridian's death I know... and the connection between the two? Listen, I, I don't know anything about Captain Viridian's death personally. Um... I, he was a fine man, but I, <laughs> I think I might have a little bit of suspicions as to what it might be, because the way they treated me wasn't too dissimilar to the way they treated Captain Viridian, I'll tell you what. So you do know that it was an inside job? <laughs> oh. That it wasn't pirates that took care of him? Oh, yes, but I was told by Jefferson that Viridian was a traitor and was working with pirates and that he needed to be taken care of. But that's something that Jefferson literally just told the rest of his crew, the rest, sorry, not crew, the rest of his men uh, as an excuse to, to eject me. So, I don't know, I'm shining a little doubt on that theory. Yeah, he did my, literally just leave you to die. So. My world view is starting to be uh, shaken apart here. Maybe they were just giving you the justice you deserved, huh? What are you talking about? I have served justice. Ever yeah, since there was I born- You were the guys! Listen! You guys defended a murderer! Jason and Lockwright! you defended murderers! Jason Lockwright, who is a murderer you guys knew- <laughs> You killed someone! You know for a fact, not just a hunch, you weren't lied to. For a fact you knew he killed innocent people and you still defended him. All I right, didn't know- up. Shut I didn't up! Let's all I be real here. We are yeah. all murderers. Every single one of us is a murderer here. Well, like, Trevor is going on the get off your high horse. I Trevor, take out a deck of name is. I take out a deck of cards and just start dealing them to Duros and Ragnar and Louie and just like like let's just yeah. let him have his little tantrum. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're used to it at this point. <laughs> oh, he's at it again. He's doing the angry thing. <laughs> when you're ready to calm down, we'll yeah. maybe help you. Do you need our help? Is that why you know? Is that what you need? <sighs> I don't really have much other choice. Okay. Verona, arm the cannons. Let's shoot that Zeppelin down. I don't think the cannons 
can be angled I, quite high I, enough. Yeah, I don't think they go that high. <laughs> we can't move Wait them up. Yeah. As Wait in the second, cannonballs Captain. would just sort of go up and then drop. All right, <laughs> Not enough fair. velocity. Captain, Captain yeah. I have an idea. Crash what is his eyes are also twinkling. <laughs> so I take Miranda. out Florence the bird. Ah. And I take out another invention that Florence has made me. A small handheld cannon. <laughs> now I'm going to animate both of them because I can do that at the same time now. Fun fact. And I'm going to explain to Florence the bird, I want you to take this cannon directly up to that <laughs> directly up to that Zeppelin. And I want you to litter it full of holes. Caca! Caca! Uh you do see Trevor sort of shaking his head. Um but the uh you the the um the bird starts flying up into the air. And it's flying closer to the Zeppelin, right, right within range of the cannon. And as it sort of enters the radius of the Zeppelin, like a shot is heard from the Zeppelin. And the, um, the, the bird into the ocean. And Trevor looks up at Verona and he says, Oh, there's one thing you should know about Jefferson. He's one of the... Oh, yeah. He loves guns. He's one of the sharpest uh, shooters I know. Uh, shit. Duros, I don't suppose you could fish that yeah, out. Yeah, maybe you could. Uh... <laughs> all, right, well, all right, I'll give it a shot, I guess. <laughs> all right. Um, throw my fishing pole again, I guess. Um, please well please roll well. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Um, All right, I guess I get it. 25. <laughs> but the, 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 the Zeppelin looked like it was like slowly, no, you know, it had like passed over you guys after dropping off Trevor. But after that, you see the Zeppelin slowly start turning around. Uh-oh. As it's doing that, I'm going to walk over to Lissa. After you finish that other thing we talked about, you mind giving this guy a little fixing up? Florence has been don't, through too much. Don't worry. Don't worry, dear. Uh, I mean, uh, Verona. I, I've, I've, uh, of course I will. I'll, I'll give it a little bit of fixing. Uh, I, Thank I, you. Looking at that airship, it gave me a little bit of an idea. I, I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking, Verona. Lots of guns? <laughs> Lots of guns, firstly. <laughs> it's quite a good idea. Um, but well, What did you have in mind? Well, that thing is obviously powered by like a big old balloon and a lot of hot air. And he look, she looks over at the village. I think there's a lot of houses there with a lot of silk. And then she points over at Poe and then says, and we have a potential of making a lot of hot air, if you know what I mean. Science! So we can be space pirates. Uh, <laughs> sky pirates. Sky pirates. <laughs> sky pirates. Oh, oh, sky pirates. Oh, oh, it's all about... You're All a right. genius. And just pat her on the shoulder. <laughs> she, also, she, she like she like blushes it when works. you pat her on the shoulder, and she goes, "Oh, I, I, it's just it, it, it's nothing really. I I uh, thank you. Uh, it's just you know. Uh, I, uh, thank you." <laughs> All right, I that was good because you know I think we can't really set sail right now because I, that would just make us an easier target. I feel, and this guy apparently likes his guns. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's also coming towards us again yeah so. that's not good we may no, not have been able to shoot at it but at least it's coming maybe to us yeah listen guys just to uh, clarify this thing's out of range of like verona's rifles and stuff right at the moment it's too high up in the sky okay all right uh but um yeah listen guys <sighs> fuck i'm i i am very weak at the moment uh, I can't take Jefferson down by myself, but Fuck, I can't believe I'm fucking saying this. Maybe if we work together, we or, may have a Paris chance. Eyes lights up. Or <laughs> Will, <laughs> William has a shit eating grin on his face. But I'm right telling now, you like... now, in the position that I'm in, I won't be of much help. So if you have any way that you can uh, patch this shit up more efficiently, then I, I will. Uh, yeah, be able I know to help. it was. This was kind of a rush job. This ship was owned by Mimes. No, no, uh, patch me up, not the fucking ship, William. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, sorry. I don't care about. I don't William. care about your fucking mime ship. You, you want to be a friend? 
Listen. You want to be part of the family, Trevor? No, the no, girls no, no, the no, 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 no. I am done with. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm the regretting this. I'm done. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> William's on the ground, just laughing his ass off. <laughs> this is oh, true love. God. Trevor, by the way, one more thing. I'm really sorry for stealing your sword. I found an even better sword. Here you go. The mime sword. He grabs the air. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, William. Good one. Um, also, I don't know if I want him to like, should we fully heal him? Is that smart? I mean, do we really need his, like, I know this Meryl's brother is probably going to be pretty strong. But we killed we've, the dad, we killed Marrow. Let's just do the whole family. <laughs> we've all gotten we've all gotten like stronger. That. We've all gotten stronger, and he doesn't have his sword, so I don't think he'd be as much of a threat if he was fully healed. I um, need some sort of weapon. Love you, William, and I know he's family. But I, I just don't trust him. How about but, this? Trevor, we'll we'll patch you up. Yeah. But if for one second you step out of line, we don't care who you're related to. You're gonna have to go. I, w- I walk over. I walk over to Verona. By the way, everybody out of character. I'm so sorry for about to do this. I walk over to Verona and I'm like, "But Verona, he's family." <laughs> That's right, Verona. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, Captain, family is not about blood. You say that to Verona, who has his granddad <laughs> and his mother are like the worst people on the on the planet. I, I had to meme. I'm sorry. Not, Listen, no, no. Until he's a part of this family. Mm-hmm. I don't okay. want to hear that word. I, fair, As fair something point. as I've known for a long time, I've had plenty of family members come and go. But family is the people you make of it, not the people that are necessarily your blood. I, I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too, Ragnar. <laughs> We are family, man, and nothing could stop us. Okay. So, yeah, should reason. any of us stay on the ship, or should we all go into town to get this, what did you call it, a hot air b- balloon? Baboon? Is that a no, thing? we just okay. need some silk, and then we can, I'll be able to rig something up uh, real good. Uh, with Verona's help and Pearl as well, we'll be able to, like, up into the all air. Right. I don't think we'd be able to go as high as that thing, but, as she looks over to it, it looks like that won't be an issue, as it starts okay. to slowly descend. All right. Oh. Well, I, I just realized I don't really have any attachment to this ship whatsoever, so we could just oh, abandon yeah. it and go into the town. So, yeah, it's not like it's our ship or anything. Oh, yeah. You know? Fuck this fucking mime ship. We can find something else out of the out of island. All right. So let's 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 go into the town, then. Let's try to find just, it and, like, figure this out. Yeah, okay, what are you doing with Trevor? I'll bring with. him with. I'll, I'll, he'll come with me. I'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, you I'm going to... Wait, should, should we heal him? What's happening? Um, Lissa, do you have any of those potions left? Potions? I don't think I want to waste the... A... A potion on this? He was so rude to me a lot. How many times? I know, but he might be able to help us here. Is How many times can Healy heal? Because he's already done it twice. Uh, Well, when we also took a rest. Um, He can oh, heal yeah. A, a, yeah, a certain amount of day. Yeah, you'll have to find out in combat at some point. It's like a... a I don't know the exact number, is what I mean. <laughs> I have it on a sheet, but I don't know the exact All right, number. I'll give him... I'll, I'll give Healy another hit for Trevor. But, okay. And actually, to be fair... Lissa doesn't really have any of these potions anymore because she just puts it inside the Healy. Oh, okay. So that's, oh, Healy is our doctor, basically. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm not wasting Louis's rewind powers on this, so. <laughs> well, it's not gonna work. It's been more. Than... It's been too long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has been too long for for the for the for the re- reverse time thing. Um. This is a big axe uh, zeppelin, right? Like, it's pretty big. It's pretty big, but I mean, all zeppelins are because they need to be big for them to work. The actual mm-hmm. platform that they stand on isn't any bigger than a regular ship, right? Okay. Yeah. It's just it's a huge fucking big thing, and it's got like guns on it and shit and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything on the side okay. of it, like on the side of the balloon part of it, like an, a symbol or anything? I mean, a big navy is like white with navy okay, so stuff marines. It. It's right, definitely a scary. marine zeppelin. That is scary if they have flying machines now. That is terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the, the amount of time it will take you to, like, pa- it does move quite slowly, and the amount of time it takes you to, like, patch up uh, to to f- make this thing, Trevor will be able to take a short rest and heal back okay. some of his health. All right. But he will not be full just... health unless you guys make a, uh, an, a distinct effort to bring him to full health. 
Fair point. But that's up to you. It's literally your decision on whether or not you want to waste. He doesn't need to be full health. I know how much damage he can take. Yeah, (laughs) okay. He'll be all right. Yeah. So let's roll some of his uh, things. Uh, Do a little quick roll here for him. Um. Trevor has joined the there party. There we go. He's going to have 115 health. Okay. Jesus I think he'll Christ. be okay. I think he'll be fine. All right. Which is half his health total, roughly. So. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Strong man. Okay. Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah, he'll be all right. Okay. I, I think that's more. Isn't that more than Ragnar has? <laughs> um, with my hit points, I'm 124. Without, I'm okay. 104. Okay. So I'm that's half, though, is almost your maximum. Jesus. Yeah. yeah strong All guy right. he is. Yeah. Hi, guys. Okay. Trevor here. We're good. All right. <laughs> All right, Trevor. Let's let's make this thing and let's go after that Zeppelin dude. <sighs> All right. That, I mean, he's healing up whilst this is happening. So, uh, okay. half of you kind of, or most of you, go onto the island. You, you, you're you're stealing bed sheets and shit from all of the islands of inhabitants who are dead. <laughs> And uh, Verona and Lissa, you kind of fashion this like huge balloon like thing. And I had to do research into hot air balloons for this. They do. They did use to use silk. They, I know they now use nylon, but silk was used for hot air balloons. Please, if you're a physicist, <laughs> please don't criticize my goofy One Piece D&D game. It's a- <laughs> um, Ver- Verona, can you give me the telescope? So I'm going to like, I'm going to like Gepo on top of a roof. So I like can like keep track of like where it's at. And so when it comes close, like, or it's doing anything, I know what's going on. Yeah. There you go, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> Double lift. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, as you guys are setting up, Lister actually turns to Verona and goes and, and looks at the other ship in the harbor. And he goes, this ship might be a little too big. It might be a better option to take one of those smaller ships. And just put us on that. That way we'll move quicker and also uh, we, we're less likely to be hit by one of those guns. I think that's a very reasonable idea. Let's go grab the other one. Makes okay. sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, and also, it means it takes less time to build the actual fucking hot air balloon. So you build a hot air balloon on something like a small sort of ship, um, quite a lot smaller. Um, and you, once it is complete, uh, Trevor uh, is like resting. Gravy's like giving Trevor food because you know Gravy doesn't care. He he wants to make sure nobody goes hungry. So he's he's giving Trevor food, and Trevor's eating the food, and it's like, you know what? This is this is some good food. What's your name again? Hey, it's 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 Gravy. Gravy, have you ever thought about joining the Marines? And Gravy said, Yeah, once. <laughs> <laughs> we all laugh. <laughs> uh, and then and Trevor goes, "Oh, really? Who who was your commander, uh, Lieutenant Hubris?" And Trevor goes, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> uh. um, so, <laughs> so uh, the 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 um the Zeppelin has gotten a bit closer to the ground and closer to the island now. Not quite within firing range, but. Uh, your your hot air balloon is finished. You guys have all rested up and stuff. Are you guys going up? Is it time to go up? Okay, guys, what do you think? Sky pirates? Sky oh, pirates. I cannot wait. Take out Sky my sword. Pirates. Sky pirates, ho! <laughs> <laughs> all right, is anyone standing on the ground or is everyone going up? All right, Gravy, you want to come with Gross us? Gross puts like a no. silk cape on, so he looks a little bit more sky piratey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Personally, I think we should keep Gravy on the ground because he can swim. And if we get shot out of the sky, we're going to need somebody who can swim that's not unconscious in the water. What about Cyril for water support from below? I, I don't think I don't he think can actually water make... will be able to reach that high, Captain. Yes, but I'm also very of... scared oh, no. of heights. I, I mean, was wondering... I, sorry, I mean, yes, my water will reach that high. I'm terrified. I was oh, wondering no. if, well, that like... Means we're coming with us, then. Oh! If somebody, if somebody <laughs> fell off and hit the water, could he, like, pull us out of the water oh, with I, I, I totally would be able to... T- t- to, 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 to do that yes uh, yeah I, that's not a bad idea and he has been missing a lot lately <laughs> i will stay on i'll stay on the i'll stay on the ground um okay oh fine cyril <laughs> okay we got gravy and cyril they're the dream team they should okay. be able to save us if we fall off this thing at like you know a mile up or something i'll be able okay. to pilot the actual hot air balloon but if you guys decide to board that zeppelin i'll be staying here to make sure that you guys have proper escape route um okay makes sense to me that sounds good mm-hmm. All right. All right. 
and <gasps> Sky Pirates. <laughs> Sky Pirates. <laughs> Sky Pirates. <laughs> um, and she looks over at Pearl and goes, "I'm sorry, Pearl. I I know you're itching to fly up there, but we need your fire to be able to actually use the um your hot air balloon." Yeah, and I'd rather not. I assume people wouldn't want you to go out there alone. <laughs> You'll be shot out of the air like Florence was. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Pearl sort of solemnly nods her head. And you guys get onto the uh, get onto the ship, Trevor as well. He doesn't have a weapon. Is anyone going to give Trevor a weapon? There's no uh, there's no spare uh, weapons. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna yeah, hand him my offhand scimitar. So he's going to get a cutlass. I've got to change his stats. Right, slightly, he has, but he has a cutlass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I gave Arona my hammer, so I don't have that no more. So Trevor's I not going to be as hand. strong because he is using. Yeah, uh, I gave you my hammer. And my, I just look over at shield. Trevor. Oh, that, I think we gave it to Alyssa. Is what happened. Yeah, and then you yeah. gave it to Alyssa. Okay. Whatever. I just look over at Trevor with his cutlass. I'm like, hey. Nice sword as I look at my true eight of spades and just like, wow, this thing is awesome. Are you making uh, fun of my swords, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, your sword is, is amazing when you wield them. I was making fun of Trevor with your swords for uh, Hey, Verona, have you ever even used that sword before? You like killed the guards with it that one time. <laughs> I remember that. I animated one of them and threw it into the Timberlord in his oh, wooden yeah. And remember that time we, time we stuck on that island and went all commando on those guards? for the, I think it was at the prison. That was fun. Good times. Oh, good times, everyone. Yeah. 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 Good times, everyone. Okay, you guys get onto the um, ship. And Pearl starts breathing fire into the... And the balloon balloons up. And you start slowly lifting to the air. Um, is Rise of the Valkyries a copyright-free song? If so, I think it is. Maybe. 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 I remember, I remember it in a like, lot of old cartoons. Like, it was on Courage the Cowardly Dog all the time. So, yeah, probably it's public fuck domain. It. So, the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rise of the Valkyrie starts playing as you guys slowly lift off into the sky. Um, Verona's got her hand on some sort of like a lever that is like changing the directions of the fire in the balloon to make you guys move different directions and bullets start flying at you but Lissa like expertly predicts the bullets and starts whoo, weaving in and out of the bullets and she goes if there's anything I'm good at is driving these things um, as you guys are weaving in and out of the uh, of the uh, attacks that are coming at you I mean occasionally like a bit of the ship wood will be splintered off because it'd be hit by a bullet or something like that um but it, it, all in all, it's avoiding the balloon. Um, this is simultaneously awesome and scary at the same time. <laughs> but I yeah. love it. Um, the the balloon slowly reaches up to the zeppelin. Oh, and... we lost Ragnar. Oh uh, no, we got Ragnar! Ragnar, come back! He did, he Ragnar fell Ragnar. off. Ragnar falls off. No! Girls, <laughs> grab some. Hang on, no, friend. Hang on. I have you. <laughs> hang on. Bring him. We gotta save him. <laughs> Ragnar, you're too young. To <laughs> Ragnar. He's back. Ragnar's he did, back. Yeah, he messaged that it was a bit of a lag. Are you okay? Can you hear us? Yeah, I'm good. It just everything crashed for me. Okay. All right. Ragnar yeah. gets pulled back onto the ship. Oh. And, then, <laughs> uh, and you guys are getting closer and closer, but then all of a sudden the gunfire stops from the vessel. Yeah. And it kind of almost lets you float up to about level with it. Uh, until uh, they, you, they used up all the ammo, guys. We're good. Until you're about level with the platform, and you see there standing, sort of shaking his head. And a bunch of other Marines scattered, like piloting the thing. And But on the center of the uh, platform of this giant Zeppelin is this big man. Similarly to how Maro was like a big man. Um, he's similar to Maro in features as well, but he has like almost this like big... Um, old American wig, almost like a barrister's wig. I think that's okay. also, maybe that's just his hair, actually. It's not a wig, but that's just what it looks like. It comes out like that. He's got two Navy flags flying from behind him, almost like stuck into this big contraption on his back. And he's got a minigun here and a minigun there and a minigun here. And a, he's flanked by four <laughs> miniguns almost attached to him. And he's Holy also, shit. like, he's holding a big rifle as well. And... Uh, he's wearing the typical like marine uniform. Um, he's very. <laughs> this guy is marine as as fuck. Jesus, yeah. my fellow men, it looks like a man. It looks like some ne'er do wells have ventured up to our glorious hearts. He says. Trevor, his... <laughs> I take it that's Jefferson. <laughs> yes, that is that is Jefferson. 
All right, I roll my devil fruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the closest episode we do have to July 4th, to be fair. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. My hello, oh, There's going to be some fireworks tonight. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> uh, 261. 261. Oh, let's look at the sheet. Um, yeah, let's pull up that sheet. I rolled a Gatling gun first. <laughs> what did you say? What was the number again? 261. 261. Um, you can produce, manipulate, and turn into honey. The honey, honey, no me. Is it a Logia? Uh, I think so. Ooh, it says turn logia. into, right? Yeah. So if so it was just produce, then it would be a Primaricia. But, but it's a, it's a Logia. All right. Honey, honey fruit. It's like Gaspar Day from the fourth movie. Okay, cool. We'll just go with that then. <laughs> okay. Right. Honey boy. Uh, probably the Yogi Poo were here to see this. Ah, oh, um, damn it. That would have been the perfect combo. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, Lissa looks over to you lot and goes, oh, are we boarding? I, I feel a bit unstable if we're floating here. He, he could easily gun us down. It's okay. I want to get somewhere a little bit powers. closer. <laughs> All right. We Doris is at the ready, like waiting for the captain's orders, trying to go block all these bullets that he knows are going to be coming. <laughs> George! Combat has not begun yet. <laughs> all right. Because um, okay. I know I, I have a thing I want to do. It almost looks like Jefferson is like combat. letting you guys onto his thing. Okay. He's just standing there in, with Menacing a smug one. aura about him. Menacing one. And he kind of shakes his head and he goes, Trevor, 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 you would have made a good member. You were, you would have made a good member. I don't understand what you've got against true justice. And Trevor goes, you fuck. That's not true justice. Listen. And he, he <coughs> takes a moment to compose himself. William. William. Yep. Uh, you lot. Uh, I know we've, there's been bad blood between us in the past. Uh, I've always tried to uphold justice to the best of ability. I hate criminals. I hate pirates. I hate ne'er-do-wells. I hate any... Any fucking crime-doer. You know how much I despise them. I am and, aware of this, yes. And I... And Arzen was one thing. He... He did a few little misdeeds for the greater good. And I felt uncomfortable with that. But I... He kind of brutally maimed people and turned them into horrible monstrosities. But yeah, sure, fine. Just a few few minor things, yeah. But what Trevor's doing... Trevor, sorry. What Jefferson's doing, uh, it's on a lot larger scale than that. And I... Uh, I don't know if it's something that I could support. Especially when I... All I did was voice disconsent at the idea. And he, he like, opens sure. up his jacket and he filled me full of holes. Jesus. Trevor, don't worry, because that, what he represents is not true justice. There is only one kind of justice in the world, and that's with honey. <laughs> and then I blast a crap ton of honey at his guns. Wait, okay, okay. Wait, <laughs> so, hold up. Have you guys, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Before you do that, William, have you yeah. guys boarded the ship? I thought I we were like, on, we, I thought we were on the He said, like, we should board the ship. For yeah. I thought we were say charge. Ship. Yeah. I said charge, so okay, I thought we so were you guys on the ship. I thought, board the ship. I thought he was letting yeah. us... Like, Trevor was platform. just saying that before you guys boarded the ship. All just right, to warn fine. you, he also says... His bullets aren't like regular bullets. You guys know what Haki is, right? I mean, I used it against you many times. Especially you, Ragnar. Um, I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> sure. sure. Okay. Yes, I, we could use Haki. I mean, some of us. Okay. Well, you guys have definitely improved since the last time I saw you. I'm just saying, be careful. And then, yeah, you guys board the ship. Oh, I mean, you're going to help us too. Oh, no, of course. I, I, I want to get revenge on like, this bastard. You're helping us too, brother. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, maybe after this is over, we'll be square. We'll see how this goes. You don't right. understand, Trevor. Some people don't deserve to live. Some people do. Uh, you've got to prove yourself worthy of life. Even if you're innocent, that matters not to me. Um, if you don't deserve, devote yourself to good, 
You're as bad as those who do evil, he says. Um, and what we're doing is we're letting people like me and I'll hopefully like you be able to enforce that good forever. And you want to turn your back on that? You're a traitor to justice. And he's like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. all his guns are sort of loaded. And you guys are standing in front of him on this, on this Zeppelin. Gloop. Gloop. <laughs> Gloop. <clears throat> Gloop, gloopy gloop. Um, okay. Uh, so, are you, are you, is anyone else any, anything doing? Are you going to say anything to him? Or is William just going to start glooping these guns? Are you glooping <laughs> oh. his guns? Or are you glooping the ship's guns? I'm I mean, glooping, I'm aiming at the Gatling guns. To I could say something to you. maybe piss him off, but I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> right, no, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, chime in if you want. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jefferson, my name is Verona. We are the Devil's Luck Pirates. Your brother killed my father. So we killed your brother and your father. Prepare to die. Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. In your honey thing, will, will be included in your. It'll be your first action of your initiative, William. Okay. I'm picturing him as just big buff, like he's super buff Thomas Jefferson with a bunch of Gatling guns. I, I, essentially, it's, that's who he is. He's super yeah. buff Thomas Jefferson with a bunch of Gatling guns, and he's one of the. You know, I mean, he's been foreshadowed since episode two, so here he is. I got an embargo. My axe. fellow oh, Americans. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I got an embargo. We are standing at the precipice of a turning point in our nation's history. If <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, men. These illegal immigrants on our Zeppelin must be dealt with forthright. As the battle begins and you and Duros gets into his fighting spirit, all of the other marines on the vessel fall unconscious. Oh. All of the weak marines on the vessel fall unconscious. So it doesn't even fucking matter. There's like six or seven of them and they, they all just like knock out cold. And Jefferson looks oh. around and he goes, impressive. But let's see how you fare in a real fight. But first, let me deal with this traitor. Rear Admiral Jefferson goes first. Actually, hold up, I didn't roll for uh, for, uh, for Trevor. Initiative. For I, Trevor. Rolled my, I clicked on my token and did the initiative, but it was with the previous map, and it I think- It doesn't matter. Yeah. No, no, oh, okay. you're, you're, on the, you're on the thing for me. Oh. oh okay, it's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, That's okay. interesting. Good, that's All right. okay. All right, well, yeah. Jefferson still goes first. Okay. Um, because they got the same. And in this case, I just decide that Jefferson's go first, because it'd be cooler. Anyway, Jefferson points his four guns at Trevor and goes, oh. well, I know you're definitely the strongest out of these lot, so. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ragnar. <laughs> uh, I Ragnar hear, is a bear after all. I, I hereby know. decree and I sentence you once again, Commodore Trevor Chapston, to execution. Bang, 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 bang. He missed one of those. I, he I missed. protect my boy. You protect boy, Trevor Chapston. Um, yes. I assume you're going to be doing it on one of the ones that hits. Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, so that missed. He only hits. So he only hits Trevor once. Nice. Fun fact: he only hits Trevor once, uh, dealing oh my God. 35 damage. Oh. I mean, imagine that times Ooh. four. That's oh shit! Sure, sure. Okay. Oh. Chad is saying that roll 20 is not showing up. Yep, my bad. Let me do that. There you go. Um, so, yes, Trevor Chapston gets filled up with bullets, but he is still alive and breathing, and now it is his turn. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, you've used your protection, Duros, to protect Trevor. Once your enemy, now your friend. See Trevor. Yeah. See Trevor. That, that, that's, what it, that's what it feels like to have good people on your side. <laughs> Okay, uh, Trevor looks around and goes, What the hell was that weird wolf thing? <laughs> it was my little wolf friend. I call him the wolf. Oh. Nice. <laughs> well, he gets out the cutlass. This will have to do. And the cutlass's blade gets coated in black. And he jumps over at Jefferson. Swings out his blade. And attacks his three times like he normally does. 
and it hits every <laughs> single one. He hits Ayo. every single attack. Bam bam, bam! 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 27, 19, 25, hitting into Jefferson over and over and over again. Um, hey, Captain, that's my sword. <laughs> that's a pretty, okay, I take back whatever I said. That's a pretty badass cutlass right there. Damn okay. straight. <laughs> Jefferson, Jefferson's body, like, wounds start healing low, uh, slowly, and he looks over at his marines and he goes, Man, all right then. I guess it's time to get fucking serious then. I hereby decree, tr Trevor, that this will be the last time you ever mess with me, and you are... You have already been de defaced by the Marines. You, and he points at Trevor, are no longer a Marine. Uh, he's now going to use one of his legendary actions. This is literally just Jefferson versus Trevor from the beginning bit. But he's oh, going to use one of his legendary actions to uh, get out his his rifle. So he uses his mini guns at his main term. He's going to get out his rifle. And How many guns does one guy need? Hey. Yeah. It's the rifle of justice. Um, <laughs> Of course. Um, he fires it at uh, Trevor. Hits Trevor. But, and does... Uh, 18 plus 27. 40 damage to Trevor's face. <laughs> Ooh, and Trevor, yeah. Trevor sort of, like, he kind of like rips a bit of his flesh off. And uh, Trevor gets down to one knee and looks up at Jefferson. And he's sort of grunting. <sighs> All right, Verona, it's your turn. I'm for... Oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> okay, guys, I have an idea, but I think it's really stupid. So I just need to ask before I do anything. Yes. Okay. This is bad for a lot of reasons, but I do have some bullets that are apparently incendiary. <laughs> and we are on an aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> you will... You want to you blow wanna, us out of this? You want to kill I'm us? I'm not all. saying blow us up. I'm that sounds explain. fucking metal. That's gonna kill us all. That's gonna kill at least the devil fruit users. Duros has a point. I don't like that idea now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It was a that's really literally gonna idea. kill us all. Just remember, if we need that later, just remember. <laughs> if we need this idea, I, I'll be with you on that. But I mean, if we all fall into the water. Gravy could save us. Gravy and Cyril could just send a happy little wave to like wash us ashore. Worst Let's save that for maybe later. later and also fly. Yeah, but the blimp could also explode. <laughs> That's more the issue. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say yeah, we could Not blow us up I... to escape, or we could just jump over out of the ship. <laughs> you could blow us up, and I could protect us all with honey. We and could just it'll be okay. I mean, this is waiting for us. We could just jump off and then bang, boom. What? <laughs> Maybe I'm let's save saying. that. Rusted I'm just save saying. Up. We'll save yeah. that as a last saying. resort. We'll save I'm that as a last saying. resort. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, All right. I mean, I guess the only thing I can realistically do is just shoot at that guy twice. Unless some of the fodder marines. Now I'm just going to no, shoot. No, the, the marines are unconscious. They're all unconscious. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. He's too, he's too manly. All right. Well, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Yeah. Whoa, two good shots. 30 and 21. You hit him twice. Oh, okay, thank God. It's you confident? Oh. Dealing a, a solid 19 damage. Sorry, 19? Sorry, I'm stupid. 22 damage. <laughs> I, I can't do maths, guys. If anything, this show has proven that I do not have the ability to do maths. Um, but you, you fire off and you... And you you hit two two bullet holes into Jefferson, and Jefferson looks over at Verona and goes, "Ah, see, another uh, another fan of the uh, rifle art." Yeah, you got a pretty nice one over there. It'd be a shame if you lost it. You ever thought about joining <laughs> the Marines? What's your name? Verona. Like, I was actually raised to be a Marine. <laughs> like Captain Verona. Exactly like Captain uh, Verona. Her death is such a shame, would you not agree? You could say that. He it's a shame I didn't head. get to take care of her myself. <laughs> he, then he, he gives you a, a hard glance. You pirates are all the same. You want to kill good, honest people like us. You're even... You're just... People like you infuriate me. You will go against the Constitution. <laughs> The Navy constitution. constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm here to uphold the law, and you lot are getting in my way. Wait a second! He has a moment of clarity. And he looks over at William. I... I was too focused on Trevor to fucking realize. If he's Rona, and this is Trevor, and you look just like him, you must be William D. Chapson, am I correct? I take a clown wig out of my bag and put it on. It's like, no! Nope. <laughs> 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 I am the amazing wizard, sir! Uh, he, he takes out his gun again. He's going to use a secondary legend ac legendary action here. Uh, and he points a gun at William and goes, My son. He's, he's not actually your father. I realize when I right, say right. that, people, oh, are like, people are like, no, no, he's just saying that as an expression. Because Americans yeah. say that sometimes. They say my son, and it's not actually their, their son. Uh, sure. Yeah, you're right, my son. Yeah, you're, you're right, right, my son. You know, it's, yeah, that, it's, the, it's things that people say. Yeah. Realize that in this show where everyone, where people are people's family members, it get very confusing. I'm not going to say that. I'm not, fuck it. Uh, he, he aims his gun at you. And, Lad? Huh? I was gonna say maybe lad instead of son. No, week. lad is not very American. Um, um I guess boy. you guys are Americans to be fair. Boy, I don't know why I'm. Oh no, listen boy. here, boy. Listen here, boy. Is a lot better. Listen here, boy. You. I got two things to say to you and your crew. Thing number one. This is revenge for my brother. One of the best men I knew, and now I'm very happy. I finally get to get revenge for that. Thing okay. number two, William D. Chapston. If you think Arzen is dead, you got another thing coming. And he's oh, I knew he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> he just ignores you as he fires off a, a shot at your face. Right, I'm, I'm shitting bricks right now, but I'm like, okay. 17, does that hit? Uh, my armor class is 15, but Hits. I was going to say, could I... Well, I could use a luck point for that, but also, can I... I have a Logia. Can I mold my body in a weird ass shape to like dodge the bullet? Like, they are. Do you have like disadvantage or something? Like just throwing it out there as possible. As, like, as a honey? I, do... I think honey is just sort of too slow of a material for you to do that. Also, right, they, I... they are hockey infused bullets, so it's still going to be. I will. You, fair enough. I'm, I'm going to use a luck point on that. Okay, luck point. So he rolls again. Yeah. Uh, 21. Well, shit. Well, All right. Well, <laughs> I get hit. Uh, well, it's not too bad. I can turn into honey, you fool. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 37 <laughs> damage. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Ah! Um. Asshole! <laughs> okay, uh, William, it's your now your turn, honey boy. Uh, I'm debating whether to reroll my fruit to get something better. You, yeah, I mean, you you can uncanny dodge it if you want. You saw it coming. Take half damage. Oh, I can do that. I yeah, thought of that was. You can do that. I thought that was like an automatic thing, though. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna do what I tried to do before. I'm gonna throw honey cannon and I'm gonna try to jam his, uh, I'm gonna aim for his Gatling guns. <laughs> okay. So devil fruit attack. I mean, it's not doing any, is it, wait, are you aiming for the guns or aiming for him? Because it's not gonna do any damage if you aim for the guns. Yeah, but he won't be able to attack us anymore. With true, them. true, I'm just saying that you don't need to roll, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you're rolling to hit. Um, you, yeah. yeah, you splooge out some honey and cover one of the guns with the honey and okay uh jefferson looks down and it's sort of the gun is like chuk, 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 chuk. And he's <laughs> like, he, he looks over and goes well wow, that's right down annoying isn't it <laughs> he's, he can only attack three <laughs> times now for the time being uh yep. but you only can do that once a turn so yeah so, so there you go i, I might I might re-roll this next turn, but anyway, that's, that's what I did. <laughs> you can re you haven't used your bonus action. You could re-roll at the end of this turn. Fuck it, I'm re-rolling now. Okay. I mean, uh -huh. the Logia is cool, but it's it's a honey fruit. <laughs> was, oh bother! Oh bother! Oh, I was bother. trying, guys. I was trying to build up the honey fruit like it was gonna be cool, but it's cool. It's Logia, you know. All right, come on, let this Happy be the like... only fight where Logia didn't matter. I want this to be like. <laughs> The barrier, barrier, the bookie, bookie, the mara, yeah. mara, not the mara, mara. That'll blow us all up. Please, just something cool. What do you roll? Fifty-one. Oh. That's a cannon one. Oh, it could be a movie one, but yeah, but fifty-one. That's good too. Uh, it's the ton ton no me. Allows the user to drastically increase their body rate, eaten by. Fruit. All Matt right. Price, yes. 
Yeah, okay. All right, you can't Blink use it this turn. Down. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. I can maybe. I got the kilo kilo and the and the. You've actually got here. both of the fruits yeah. essentially doing the, the same thing. in the end. Okay, we'll figure this wow. out next turn then. All right, I gotta think about this. Okay, so All right. I got. Yeah. All right, Ragnar, your move. Hello. <laughs> My name is Ragnar, and I am a sky bear. <laughs> in that moment, I tie like a cape around me, like Duros did. It was really cool, Duros, by the way. <laughs> oh, you look cool too, Ragnar. <laughs> and I turn into a bear. <laughs> all right, you turn into a bear. I'm starting to get sick and tired of all these Marines who are also murderers, acting like they're so much better than us, acting like they can do anything they want. <sighs> I Fuck thought you were going to say, I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking <laughs> Marines. Marines of this motherfucking <laughs> <scary shit. laughs> I really <laughs> thought you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I step forward. Yes. Bro. I'm going to use hockey. Do okay. It. That will add to your damage. If add you hit to my it. damage. Oh, you know what? I'm going to reckless attack as well. Holy shit, Ragnar. Oh. Yay. I'm an idiot, but let's do it. Reckless attacks, so I get advantage, oh, oh, right? Oh, yep. God. 22, you oh. hit. All right. 24, you hit. Are you putting Haki on both attacks? Uh, just one. The first just one. one. All right. Then, yeah. Then you. How roll, do I add the Haki? You just roll an extra, was it uh, D10, I think? Or D8? Fuck. It's one of the two. Uh, D8. D8, D8 two okay. D8. Yeah. You're, wait, you're hucking both or just the one? Just the one. I think it's just one D8 then, right? It just, it says total is two D8. That's how many you have to use. Oh, so just a D8. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Plus so six. you slice into Jefferson's, uh, but wait, wait, where are you slicing him? How are you doing this? 39 damage, by the way. 39 damage you're doing into this, but uh, yeah, a lot of damage. How about, like I said, I'm sick and tired of all these Marines acting like they know that they can do whatever the hell they want. And I turn into a bear and kind of like, now I'm Ida. How tall is he? Pretty tall. I don't know, like seven, seven foot-ish. Okay, so like I turn into a bear, I go up on my, like just my back legs and stand upright. So we're like looking eye yeah, to yeah, eye yeah, to yeah. him. And I do a nice little Kuma cross. Yeah. Flash. Kuma cross right through his chest. Dealing you know, a solid 39 damage. Uh, Jefferson. That's that motherfucker. My God. He looks at Ragnar and goes, maybe Trevor isn't the strongest one after all. Right? Oh. All right. He's going to use his, uh, <laughs> he's got some legendary actions. He's going to use, he's going to fire his gun at you as well. His, his, his handgun. Um, well, uh, let's take a, take a whiff of this. 30. Yeah, that hits. That definitely oh. hits. Um, and you take 36 damage, Ragnar. No, it's okay. Duras, it is now your turn. Not bad. I'm still going to be the strongest in the world, so you're going down. Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> the thing is here, what would you guys, who would you rather me protect right now, Trevor or Ragnar? I mean, probably Ragnar, right? But uh, Trevor's pretty weak. I th yeah, but I'm it's still okay. For Trevor. <laughs> All right. I will try and protect our new ally because he looks like he's about to bleed out and he's bleeding out everywhere. I'm gonna change, do the bait and switch tactic where I will uh, change places with him and go next to this new Jefferson man. Sweet. To be fair, you are only bait and switch like 10 feet. So, I mean, he's still in range of Jefferson's attacks. Yeah, it's, but it's really cool though. It, it's, it's really it looks cool. very cool. Yes. You're like, but I do. I am able to give him some extra AC in case he is attacked. Okay, sweet, perfect. How much AC do you give him? Until you start the next turn, you or the other creature of your choice gains AC equal to the number rolled, so superior die, which is D10. So wow. let's hope I don't get That's a shitty one. That's a lot one. of AC. Holy moly! Yeah, but sure. I roll terribly. AC for days. <laughs> Come on, uh -oh. dude. One. <laughs> That's not a lot of AC, <laughs> dude. Did, <laughs> that could have been 10 extra AC, which would have been impossible oh. to hit. Impossible oh. to hit. I knew it. <laughs> Holy I moly. Knew it. I bro. fucking knew it. You have to believe in the heart of the dice, bro. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> I tried. 
<laughs> but at least Gross, I can you tried your best, man. Well, I mean, he's, he, he could still help one. One extra AC is all it takes. <laughs> yeah, it could still miss. Yeah, It could still miss. Um, okay, and I will attack, of course, with my benevolence. Sweet, go ahead. Okay. Um, actually, no, he hit my sword with his Gatling gun. So I'm going to use uh, the my shield instead. Sorry, what? Because I blocked one attack with from Trevor, right? When? Huh? Uh, when he attacked Zawolf Trevor, I protected him from one. Yeah, he's a wolf him. Uh, or does that not work? That's not your shield. That's okay, never mind. I'll just use my w. It was because he was too far away for you to block with the... Yeah, it was a yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, okay. distance thing. And I miss! You missed twice. <laughs> Both times. You sort of swing at him. And he's he's too busy focusing on Trevor. All right, Larry LeClock. Here's the question, though. Is Pearl still on the balloon to keep it float? Oh, That's yeah. A really good fucking point. Fuck, uh, that is a good point. I'm sorry I brought it up, but that is a good point. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she otherwise, otherwise Lissa would just sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pearl's not here. Pearl's, Pearl's not here. So it's Pearl. just Louis. Bye, Pearl. So, sorry, Pearl. Sorry, Pearl. <laughs> so it's Damn. just Louis. Okay, Louis's turn. Louis looks at William and goes, he's just a little bit late onto the blimp, but it's, it's his turn. And he goes, what's your needs me to do, Captain? Louis, heal my brother. I will do my best. Uh, and Louis is going to heal uh, Trevor and regain that 40 hit. Or what was it? Whatever. He gets yeah, back to his. He's back to whatever he started with. I knew what he started with. And he winks at Trevor, and Trevor shivers. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is for you, bro. All right. Uh, you do this big heroic thing, and Jefferson doesn't even watch you. He just his eyes are locked onto Trevor, and he's like, "This man's gotta die." And he looks at Trevor and goes, "Trevor, I can't believe you would stoop this low. Not only did you betray us, but you're working with the Devil's Log Pirates, the people who killed my brother, the ones who supported and defended the person who killed your parents, Trevor." Do you have no shame? No shame. It's time for me to put you down. The four, oh, only three. Only three guns pointed at Trevor. Um, gun one, 19. Gun two, 23. Gun three, 28. They all hit. But it's not gonna knock him unconscious, probably. It's just gonna take him down some HP. But I mean, Trevor's a really good bullet sponge for you guys at the moment. Um, <sighs> And he, as he says, I sentence you to death and lights Trevor up with bullets um, and notices that like when Louis Leclerc does that weird time thing, he looks around at everyone um, and uh, and he goes, man, I guess it was no fluke that you guys took down Vice Admiral Arsden. And then on the ship, a bunch of turrets start coming out of the ground and they all point their guns at the crew. Shit. Uh, Looks like I can't underestimate you guys any longer. And then, then we'll do a to be continued. Oh, oh God. A flash of lightning illuminated the man's face. His stern, grotesque features looked menacing in the moonlight. Waves crashed against the shore as the brute held a frightened girl up by her neck, hanging her dangerously over the water. There were cuts and bruises on her skin, her blonde hair had been muddied from the forceful journey there, and her once bright blue eyes full of enthusiasm now only showed fear and sadness, her tears mixing with the rainwater that showered over them both. No, I'm sorry I have to do this, but the boss was real particular about no witnesses, the British man grunted. The girl's only response was more tears. Ah, uh, no, no, no crying. It's just business. You understand that, right? The girl continued to squirm, but the man carried on disinterested. Some people have to die. That's just the way things are. With the small amount of air provided to her, the girl managed to croak out a response. Uh, that's not fair. Why do bad people like you get to live when good men like my da- uh, She trailed off. Her father's death was still raw in her mind. Now, now, sunshine, this ain't no fairy tale. You got to do what you got to do to make a living, and if boss says to take care of a bystander, then I got to do what I got to do. His grip loosened. No! The girl squealed, but before the girl could finish, she was already falling. It wasn't long before she hit the water. It splashed as she plunged into its murky depths. She had never really learned how to swim. 
but as she slowly started to sink, the girl noticed her body grow weaker and weaker, almost as if the waters themselves were sapping her strength away. Resigned to her death, she made no struggle. She had no energy to. Her vision started to fade, and her world went black. When she next awoke, she was laying on a bed of sand, sun beating down on her face. She squinted and stared up at the blurry shape that was leaning over her. A man's concerned face stared back at her. His brown eyes lit up behind his glasses as she woke, and he smiled. He had messy ginger hair and a small, well-kept beard. Freckles also dotted his face in various places, but his most notable feature was a diagonal scar that lined across his face. He looked young, maybe in his 20s. He was wearing a large white and blue coat over the top of his regular shirt and trousers. Good. You're coming too. You feeling all right? The man said. The girl sat up slowly, looking around at her surroundings. She was on a small island, water flanking it in every direction. Behind the man, she could see a large ship painted in a similar white and blue. Dazed and confused, her head was full of questions. She paused for a second before cautiously asking, what, Where am I? I'm not quite sure, the man replied. Some of my men said they saw a little girl being carried by a sea king, so he decided to follow it. He looked around for a second and then continued, It seems to have left you here on this small island. Strange behavior to say the least. Barely taking a moment to register the information given to her, the girl launched into her next question. Who are you? The man grinned. The name's Hastings, uh, C Captain Hastings to be precise. Always got to include my rank there, all my higher-ups insist on it. The girl's confused expression deepened. Upon seeing this, the man quickly added, Navy rank. The Navy. I guess your parents haven't taught about us yet. The grim reminder caused the girl to freeze up. Any feeling of relief from being rescued was gone. After all, she's probably better off dead. She was alone. Hastings looked inquisitively at the frightened girl, not quite understanding the sudden change in expression. You need not to worry. We're here to help. I apologize for my bluntness, but if you could just let me know what island you're from, I can return you to your parents. Before she knew it, tears were welling up in her eyes. Her rapidly declining mood took Hastings by surprise. Oh, bugger. I'm sorry, it's okay. Hastings placed a small blanket around the girl. He paused for a moment as the child continued to cry, frowning sympathetically as he sat closer to her. Listen, he said softly. I'm here now. You've been through a lot, I understand. The Marine carefully brought out a pen and a small notepad from his shirt pocket and started drawing. The girl still continued to cry, but Hastings noticed her eyes wandered towards the notepad. He gave her a small smile. Drawings have always been therapeutic to me. I get to express my feelings through my pencil. Whenever I'm feeling sad, happy, angry, I always draw. Doesn't matter what. Hastings continued to sketch. We all face difficult things, but I always remind myself that things not only will get better, but can only get better if you don't give up on yourself. Look. Hastings turned the notepad around to show the girl. It was a drawing of her, smiling, eyes bright with various different fish drawn randomly around her head. It was a serene moment captured in time, a hopeful reflection. It was a lovely drawing. Nobody had ever really drawn her before. Thought you might like it. He paused for a second, looking down at his notepad. From your reaction before, I assume you don't have anybody to return to. The girl said nothing, but nodded her head silently. This was enough confirmation for him. I understand the pain. I lost both my parents to a pirate raid when I was younger too. He ripped the page out of his notebook and looked over at the girl. You can have this, he said as he handed her the page. The girl grabbed it, staring at the paper bewildered, barely noticing the fact that she had now stopped crying. That's better, said Hastings optimistically. The captain stood up, patting down his trousers. He looked down at the girl, smiling, the sun illuminating his face. He put out his hand for her to grab. Oh, I forgot to ask. What's your name? The girl looked up. She held the picture close to her chest with one hand and took his hand with the other. R Rain, she said quietly. <laughs> what a lovely name, the man responded.